Hi all. Today I am going to conduct an experiment in machines lab using virtual lab. The experiment we are going to perform is load characteristics of DC shunt generator. This will be the circuit which are used in the simulation platform to conduct this experiment. We are going to plot the characteristics of this shunt generator. Since we are going to plot the load characteristics we have to obtain the relation between the terminal voltage and the load current. This is actually the load which is uh, shown here. In virtual lab the load which we are going to use is actually the lamp load. In order to measure the terminal voltage of this generator we are using this voltmeter V2 and in order to measure the load current we are using the ammeter A2. This diagram is drawn according to the diagram which is being shown in the simulation platform. So all of you must draw the same diagram in your record also. Let's see how we are going to conduct this experiment in the virtual lab. In order to conduct the experiment, you have to go to the corresponding virtual lab link which has been shared with you through WhatsApp. That link will take you to this page. Here you have to click the list of experiments. Then from the list of experiments you have to take the experiment which we are performing now that is to study the load characteristics of decision generator. Then it will take you to this page. At the left side of the page you will be able to see all those things which you have to write in your record that is aim, theory, procedure etc. So in order to perform the experiment you have to click on the simulation button. Then here in this page they will be asking you to go to the simulation page for that you have to further click here. So the simulation page appears to be like this. I will be just explaining you the components. This is MCB that is miniature circuit breaker. This is a three point starter and its three terminals were indicated as L, F and A. L indicates the line terminal, F indicates the field terminal and A is indicating the armature terminal. We will be using two ammeters. This is represented as ammeter 1 and this one is represented as ammeter 2. Okay. And we will be using two voltmeters. This is indicated as voltmeter 1 and this one as voltmeter 2. The load which we are using here is the lamp load. So this is the DC generator whose characteristics we are going to plot. In order to run this DC generator we have to couple a DC motor along with it. This DC motor has the function of providing the mechanical input for this DC generator. Now we have to make the connections. So in order to make the connections you can follow the steps which are provided at the instructions here. The first instruction is positive terminal of MCB has to be connected to positive terminal of ammeter. This is the first connection. Then the second instruction is positive terminal of MCB has to be connected to positive terminal of voltmeter 2. See it's voltmeter 2. So positive terminal has to be connected with the positive terminal of voltmeter 2. Third is negative terminal of MCB to negative terminal of voltmeter 1. MCB to negative terminal of voltmeter 1. Then negative terminal of MCB to A2 of motor. See this is A2 of motor. This is actually the motor, A2 of motor. The fifth instruction is you have to connect A2 with F2, but F2 point is not mentioned anywhere in this diagram. They actually mean this Z2. So this will be F1, this is F2. Similarly, in this machine also, this is F1 and this is F2. So according to instruction 5, we have to join the terminals A2 and F2 of the DC motor. Okay. Then instruction 6. The line terminal of the starter has to be connected with the negative terminal of ammeter 1. Line terminal has to be connected with negative terminal of ammeter 1. Then you have to connect to the field terminal with F1 of motor. Field terminal with F1 of motor. 
armature terminal with a1 of motor this a1 and a2 is actually indicating the armature terminals of the motor and this f1 and f2 will represent the field terminals of motor similarly here this a1 and a2 indicates the armature terminals of generator and f1 and f2 indicates the armature term sorry field terminals of generator next instruction is uh, the ninth one we have to connect l2 that is the terminal of light load with a2 of generator l2 with a2 of generator next is a2 of generator with f2 of generator These two connections f2 of generator to negative terminal of voltmeter 2 f2 with negative terminal of voltmeter 2 next is uh, negative terminal of ammeter 2 to positive terminal of voltmeter 2 negative terminal of ammeter 2 to positive terminal of voltmeter 2 positive of voltmeter 2 to l1 meter 2 to l1 next is uh, the 14th one that is positive terminal of ammeter 2 to A1 of generator to A1 of generator. Then positive terminal of ammeter two to Z1 of generator. From here itself, you have to connect to Z1. So according to the instructions, uh, there are 15 steps, and we have completed all the connections. what actually uh, find in this uh, simulation platform is if you have made any wrong connection in between i don't think there is an option to delete that only one option is reset if you click reset the whole connections will get vanished so you have to do uh, or you have to start it from the beginning itself so in order to avoid that it's better to follow each instructions very clearly now we have to verify whether the connections which we have made according to the instructions are correct or whether i had done any wrong connection for that i can click on this check button see when i click the check button it shows uh, correct connection so our connection is correct now and the dc generator started running mcb turned on and the terminals uh, of the starter has shown a light here very clearly you are able to see the dc generator is running then clicking the add button here you will be getting the corresponding current reading of this ammeter and the voltmeter reading of this old meter now you can increase the load you can increase into three bulbs that also you can add okay the corresponding readings of uh, ammeter 2 and voltmeter 2 will be noted here you can increase it further to five bulbs see now five bulbs are lit here that reading also you can add further you can increase to 8 all of you must take a minimum of 5 to 6 readings and finally i am turning on all the lights in the lamp load so now you have got the observation table in this observation table this is representing the load current and this one is indicating the terminal voltage next we have to plot the characteristics in order to plot the characteristics you can either plot it by using this readings in a graph paper or else uh, you can just drag it down and you can simply click on this print button sorry 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 you can drag it down and you can click on this graph graph button so it's saying that minimum 6 readings are required so let's take one more reading let it be of uh, eight bulbs okay 
now we have six readings now I am going to plot the load characteristics so I have to just click on this graph button so the simulation tool itself will plot for you the characteristics so from here by clicking the print button you will be able to copy this in word format or PDF format according to your wish so this is how we are conducting the load characteristics of DC shunt generator in virtual lab simulation platform hope it's clear for you all of you must attempt it once and uh, make a note of this readings in your record and you have to send to me either the PDF or you have to draw it to the characteristics either you have to take the PDF and you have to send me or you have to draw it and take a picture of it and send to me okay thank you